Number 19 Louisiana wore all red uniforms on Tuesday night, but the Cajuns saw all green at the plate against number seven LSU. After going down two nothing in the top of the first inning, the Cajuns would rattle off six runs in the bottom of the frame and never gave the lead back. Now they would finish the contest with nine runs on 12 hits to get the upset victory over LSU, proving that when the Cajuns need to step up in big games, they rise to the occasion. You know, we had to win. Like we knew if, in order to host the regional, in my mind, we had to win tonight uh, just to seal the deal. I, I just didn't want to leave any doubt. I, I knew it, if the opportunity to get a top five RPI win at home on our field, that's a huge opportunity. I felt like last week we could have played so much better than we played. And I'm sure Coach Beth feels that way, you know, LSU tonight. But they're a great ball club, and they've already proven what they need to prove. We were the ones that need to step up. So I'm just really thrilled. I'm, I don't even have the words to tell you how thrilled I am with our girls. I think throughout the game, we were definitely we were hitting the ball. Our defense was amazing. Maddie Hayden was making great plays out in the outfield. And I think we were just really consistent throughout the whole game. Well, I think it's super important. I think this shows we're right up there with them because they always count us out. Super fun environment. I enjoy playing in front of big, big crowds like this. I, th I feel like I perform better and as does the team, as you see. Now with the win, UL gets a slight boost in their RPI to number 14 since the Tigers were third in RPI coming into the game. And based on what Jerry Glasgow has told us, D1 Softball has told him that as long as his team continues to play cleanly, they will host a regional here at Lampson. Covering the Cajuns, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick, KATC Sports.